Hey, hello friends, welcome once again to the Information Security Newspaper channel. I remind you my name, it's Miguel. So today we got a really interesting topic, it's just one, but I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. And well, today actually you can make an experiment by your own because what we are showing you today is really interesting. So just stay here and watch it. Hey guys, what up? So I want to know, have you ever received a call from the government or maybe from the police? Or for example, if you received a call from Facebook and they mentioned you that your account is being hacked and that they need your password in order they can restore your security configurations. I mean, will you provide them your password? So guys, today we're going to talk about spoofing. So. For those who don't know what is spoofing, I am going to explain it. Well, spoofing is when a criminal or a hacker actually fakes the information that you receive in your caller ID. And well, every time that they call you guys, you will be able to read a fake name or a fake number in it. And well, that's why the caller ID is pretty important guys, because actually it works for several things. Okay, so for example, you can actually notice when uh, actually police or government are calling to you, like in case it's real. Or for example, you can identify that uh, well, your couple is calling to you and you're with your friends or I don't know, your boss is calling you. So you will be able to understand and to know who is calling you, right? But you know, that's why it's pretty dangerous because in case that a criminal or a hacker call you, like, you will not be able to identify that they are hackers because actually those guys are professionals and they'll be very patient in order they can get information from you guys. So you should better take care and watch out. Okay, so for example, they can make it happen appears like a, your girlfriend is calling you or even an artist, I don't know, like Mia Khalifa, like Obama, Bush, whatever. Guys, just for make this clear, like spoofing, it's considered fraud. So please don't misuse this information, okay? Well, thanks to application developers and website developers, today actually we can do thousands of things with our smartphone. But, well, thanks to that, today we're going to give you a list of several spoofing applications. And well, all of these applications are actually available online and well, you can try them right now. So guys, just let me tell you, like, like one main feature, feature of these applications, actually, all of these applications, you have to first make your own account, and all of these applications are paid applications, but actually, it got some features in it, like you can use some uh, free calls or some free credits, so that's why you can try them. Okay guys, so the first application on the list is called SpoofCard. And well, these applications, like all of them, like the main feature is that it helps you to hide the real name or the real number of your uh, phone. And well, this is also working for protecting your privacy, right? And well, one of the, another features that this application has is that actually it helps you to record the call. And also you can like add some noise, uh, background noise, in order that, for example, you um, make others, others believe that you are in the streets, there's a lot of traffic on there, that's one feature. Okay, so this is Puff Card, it's available for iOS, but also it's available for Android, but in here it has another name, it's the same application but with different name, which is Incognito Color ID. So if you need it, you can also download it. Okay, the second application, it's called SpoofTel. Well, this application, it's actually pretty famous. Well, it's available for uh, your computer, like a website, and also it's available for iOS. And well, the main features here is like all of them, like you can uh, change the ID name or the ID number of your phone. And also you can record the phone calls and you can also add some background noise in case you want to cheat people that you're in the traffic. And also this spoof tail application has the ability of change the voice. And well, this spoof tail also has the ability of changing the voice. So you can pretend to be a woman, for example. Okay, guys, let's go with the third application. So this one is called spoof my phone. And well, it's pretty famous actually. It has a unique feature. And well, it's a bit expensive, but I think it's one of the best. So the feature is that actually it allows you to make group calls. So in case that you need to make like grouping calls or like talk to different clients, like whatever, like it's pretty helpful. But as I mentioned, I think it's quite expensive because uh, well, the less that it sells you, it's 25 credits for 6.25 euros. 
But anyway, you can try it, right? Okay guys, so let's go with the next one. This one is the fourth one and it's called Itelas Communication. So let me tell you that, well, first of all, this was a, a American website, like it's just from the United States, but actually it is growing and now it is letting you call to different parts of the world. Well, this one is also pretty expensive, but I think it's one of the best also, that's why it's in this list. So this application has a lot of features, like, uh, well, as all of them, it lets you change the caller ID, also it lets you record the calls, you can also add some background noise, you can also change the uh, voice tone, for example, if you were a girl. Okay, so let's go with the next one, this one is called Spooftail. This one is pretty easy to use, actually it's one of the cheapest, you just gotta pay around 10 cents per credit, which is pretty easy to use, and well, go ahead guys, try it. Actually, it, this one also gives you like a free credit every day, and well, it gives you like the basic stuff, like changing the color ID, and also a recording the calls. But guys, this Spooftail application is just available for iOS and for a computer website. And well, finally, we got this last application which is called Crazy Call. And well, this application is one of the famous. Actually, cybersecurity specialists mentioned that they used it in the past. Well, well, thanks a lot that now there's a lot of options. And well, this Crazy Call, uh, well, actually it used to have a Android application, but it no longer has one. Anyway, you can use the website and you can also use the iOS application. And well, it gives you like the basic features such as changing the color ID and recording the calls. So guys, we just finished the list. Just let me remind you that, well, if you want to use these applications, you have to create your account in these ones. And well, remember that also these are paid applications, but some of them have a free credit, so you should try them. And well, guys, now I'm going to show you a video of how we make some tests here in the studio. Like we make like some uh, spoofing calls and over there you can notice that well we got like a different name or an unknown name which is like also spoofing calls. Guys just let me remind you one more time this video was made just for educational purposes so please don't misuse this information. Guys, we just reached at the end of the video, but I really hope you enjoy it. As I commented you before, it's pretty interesting. Well, maybe you can help us by like sharing the video. Uh, I mean, this is going to help a lot of people, and well, they will get to notice about this a uh, fake or crime calls, right? So, guys, if you want to get more information, go to our social media, and well, I just remind you my name is Miguel Lopez, and I wish you the best.